Bob Kerbeam on his fourth spacewalk, uh, now out of the uh, airlock's hatch. Copy. You can transfer Christopher's airlock safety tether into him. Attached uh, to uh, Bob Kerbeam, uh, you see uh, the portable foot restraint that will be... Uh, Thank you for that reminder. And I'm waiting here until he's on the arm. He will install an adapter that, uh, onto which the portable foot restraint then would be attached, making the end of the station's robotic arm a uh, work platform, a solid work platform in which he will uh, reside throughout the spacewalk today. Christopher Fugelsang will serve as a free-floating astronaut. I'm sorry, we don't have the caddy. We're going to have the just the TPS scraper. The International Space Station tracking northeasterly off the coast of uh, Guyana from an altitude of 220 statute miles. For today's spacewalk, uh, Bob Kerbeam's uh, camera on his helmet. Uh, the view that you see here is a uh, camera, a small number in the bottom right uh, depicting his view. When you see a number 16, that's the same view that Bob Kerbeam has. Christopher Fugel saying uh, when we take the helmet cam for his, uh, his space suit, he'll have a number 18 in the bottom right corner. And Discovery Houston for EVA. Billy O, page 9, IV column, step 3, you have a go to maneuver to P6 and 4 Bravo. Okay, copy, thanks. Okay, and understand I can ingress? Yes, you are cleared to ingress. They uh, gave you the go. The armed folks gave you the go for that. Good. Right. And they may stop if you just one second and look around us. Okay. That's fine. I'm looking around too, believe me. And I got your back also, Beamer. Uh, real good clearance. And for EV-1 and 2, check your light heaters, visors, tools, and tethers are coming up to a sunset. And just a reminder to check your tape as well. Thanks. And by the uh, through of guide is on 5343. Also put my extra uh, space tether there. And I was thinking to drop off the PPT and pick up the DRT to just to have it up there. If, uh, so my next step is to try to pull the grommet up just a little bit, if you guys can come. I have the loop in the pool of this. That's a better tool for you. I think the corner of this will go under it nicely. Okay. Are you ready for that discovery? Yeah, from Discovery, we can car beamer. We got a good WBS now. Looks like a good plan. Okay, here we go. Yep, coming. It's coming. The, yeah. The problem is the guide wires that oh, are wrapped around it. But and the that next guide, guide wire guide wire. is kind of catching on every single grommet. So now it's caught on the next inboard grommet. So I'm going to lift that one up. You guys concur? We concur. Here we go. On the next grommet. Houston concurs. Payload 3 down link, please. It worked. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to loosen each one individually because, um, like I said, each grommet is catching up on that part kind of turned backwards on itself. So the next grommet's coming with your concurrence? We concur in the, in the discovery. Okay, got the oh. station concurs time. Wow, it's very visible that the uh, band's sticking out. Okay. Yeah, you can see probably on the uh, WVS now that part of the right there that I'm pointing to. That part of the guide wire is frayed, and that's what it's hanging up on. Got a go? Do I have a go for two more grommets? Yeah, keep 
Preston with the grommet steamer. Okay. Call me off if you don't see anything. Okay. There's another grommet. And two more grommets. Motion continuing. 